welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to show you guys some of my drugstore brushes that are my favorite i'm going to start off with um eye brushes turning pro eyeshadow brush and this is just like a small tapered but it's kind of fluffy brush this i use this on um my crease because it's so thin on the side like that and just use that and then go on the crease and apply the dark um color lab to just blending brush this is a pretty good brush because it is um soft and dense and i've washed these actually for like twice already and they're kind of dirty right now so excuse that because i just finished um putting my makeup on but this is really good for such a blending brush and these brushes i believe they are like about six dollars each yeah they're six six or lower a lid on it angled shadow brush and you can see how it's just slanted like that more of like an angled um eyeshadow brush where if you want to create like a cat eye eyeshadow um, you can use this and use like a whatever shadow you want and start going to the direction it's going to as beyond that stuff. Oh, I have two of these. These are the um, Let's Start All Over Shadow Brush. I got two of them right here. So this is how it looks. Front and then. Beyond a shadow of Dove um, brush. This is um, I just use it for eyeshadows. For any eyeshadow. Always on point slanted eyeliner brush. So it looks like that. Returning Pro foundation brush. This is like a small foundation brush. I don't really use this for my foundation, but I do use it to apply concealer like under my eyes because it is perfect for that. A lip brush. Don't shadow brush, but I use this for concealer also. Like if I put concealer on my eyebrows, I would use it to buff on the top just like that. Cause it's really easy and if you guys watch my first video how i did my brows i used this to just buff whatever um eyeshadow or not eyeshadow i mean concealer there is so i just buff it out and this one works so good and i suggest you guys get this this is one of my favorites that i have on my drugstore makeup brushes then over here this is the salon perfect um spoolie a uh, brush or brow brush um i don't know why the thing got off but it used to say salon perfect brush whatever eyebrow brush but this one came in a kit and i'll show you guys right now I'm in a kit like this so right here and this is the brush itself oh. and it's supposed to say salon perfect but I guess I used it a lot of time. I should totally try this out because it's actually really cheap. I think they're about five bucks or lower. By the way, this is what I use for my eyebrows, and I know you guys have like the Anastasia or whatever, but I think this one works perfectly fine because I don't know if you guys can see, but it is um, thin and it does its job perfectly. But I know that they um, sell that at Walmart, so I would go check it out. Mm -hmm. Turning pro buffing brush, buffing like that, and this is how it looks like. So the next one I have the triple tread multi -pur purpose purpose brush. These are really strong. I think this one runs about think. Yeah, you can use use this for buffing also. You can use any translucent powder and just or you can use it as a stipple brush I don't know up to you guys then I'm moving on with the techniques um, brushes the lettering of this came off and I don't see it but this is like a stipple brush I use this okay, that's... 
sorry if all of them are dirty right now because like I said I just did my makeup earlier and yesterday so I did not wash them yet I have the expert brush right here oh I would use this for buffing like the um brown, not bronzer when you contour with the dark um, shade I would use this to buff it out and this is the expert brush that's how it looks like foundation brush I know this is a foundation but I don't really use it for foundation I honestly would use this with a cream um, contour cream contour whatever use it to just go ahead and make that line and use this other brush like I said to just go ahead and buff it out like that other foundation brush now this one is bigger than the one that where is it oh it's bigger than the one that um lab has so like I said I would use this for foundation you know just put it in there mm -hmm. and then I would use this for concealer under my eyes but yeah this one is fatter and thicker and long, no, shorter. Well, this one is thinner and longer and perfect for your under eye. Here I have the blush brush. Um, I don't really know. I barely use this. I mean, I do, but I would use this for, like it says, a blush. For blush. If you are using a cream though, a cream blush, I would suggest to only like dab it a little bit because this one really picks up a lot of product. This is the powder brush and this is my favorite. I would use it with any powder, just like translucent powder. This is so perfect. I like it. It's really big. And I don't know if you guys can tell but it's kind of like that and it gets fluffy on the top. and. I just think it's perfect and it's very soft and then between two of these I, I could not choose both of these are really good on um, drugstore brushes and I would suggest if you guys are a beginner I would go and pick it up at Walmart because that's where I bought it I have the multitask on um, brush now I would use this for highlighting I have the retractable bronzer brush I never really used this yet I only used it once and then I washed it after. Um, this one I would use it for a bronzer thing and just go ahead and stipple it on your skin. So, if guys were to ask me what brushes I recommend, I would recommend totally techniques. I recommend all of these that I got. Mm hmm. And for the brow, like I said, I would take this over Anastasia's um, brow brush because it's almost the same, trust me. Or, I mean, not that I own one, but it works fine for me. So, yeah. They're only like, about five bucks or lower. So, I would suggest you guys to pick it up if you guys are in a budget or on a budget. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys like and subscribe. Um, if you guys haven't yet so subscribe into my channel, I suggest you guys for you to go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see um, future videos that will be uploaded, I believe, once a week. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video, guys. I know it's such a long video, or short, or I don't know. Okay, and if you guys have any suggestions on what to do, video or film next for me if you guys have any questions just go ahead and comment down below and let me know and i will get back to you guys as soon as i can thank you guys so much bye